guys, welcome back to Stella's Knife Obsession. Uh, I wanted to talk about these two Vostid knives. Now these are both prototypes, but I have been told what the changes could possibly be on these. Well, they are um, changing a couple things. So I also wanted to talk about how amazing the ergos are, but I'll let you hear Fred sing. Sing it, Fred. All right. There, here he goes. All right. Maybe not. So let's talk about first um, the deployment options you have with this knife are freaking amazing. Um, the uh, I wanted to tell you about the copper backspacer. I think that was such a great touch that they did there. It's so nice and stylish and it goes with the scales very well i love these milled lines that it's indicative of you dong's designs um as you you probably could be reminded of the cormorant by looking at these um so he does things like that and i love that i i think that when a designer has such a pro um let's see what, what what's the word such a a recognizable signature that you can just look at it and be like oh that's a yudong you know or that's you know whatever your favorite designers are i love yudong's designs though so and i do have a few not just bossy well anyway so i still have the prototype i wanted to go over the deployment options on this thing i think this has the most deployment options i've ever seen first of all it has a beautiful uh, button action and the button itself is nice it's so nicely gimped or textured for grippiness and then you have your back flipper you have your front flipper you can uh, do oh not on this one you can sometimes I can sometimes I can't it's weird so you can use the deployment slot uh, you can use the fuller Oh man, and it's good, good action with every single one of them too. It's so good. Um, great action on this thing. I think a lot of button lock loving people out there are going to really enjoy this knife. So the um, one change that I know is this hollow grind isn't going to be as hollow. It's going to be more shallow, hollow, <laughs> hollow grind. Um, so it'll be kind of like a... Uh, just a little thicker behind the edge. I mean, it's still going to be thin. It's just going to be a little more shallow. So just so you know what to expect. It's just a beautiful blade, though. I'm not sure why they would want to um, change that. Because I think that this hollow grind is phenomenal. And I wouldn't change it. Um, but, you know, they have their own reasons for it. Uh, the jimping on this thing is perfectly placed. Um, the front flipper has jimping that goes all the way around, and I love that, you know. It's, see, there we go. Um, it's nice when you have a front flipping uh, knife and you have the proper jimping all the way around. And I think on this, on the actual production knife, there's going to be more jimping right here, but I could be wrong. Um, I'm pretty sure there's more jimping there though, but even if there isn't, there's, this is the perfect amount of jimping right here. So it's still good. Um, the deployment slot will still be the same. Um, I don't know if the fuller is going to be, um, uh, a little bigger or, um, not too sure about that, but the, it'll still have the beautiful compound grind with the flat and then a hollow here but like I said just a little more shallow and same ergos of course same beautiful G mascus or uh, whatever they like to call this topo topographic um, wormwood I don't know uh, I think that it's cool I like it a lot and I love the way they did it it's just great it's just they did a great job on this, and it's very lightweight. It had, it does have steel uh, liners. They're milled out, and 
nested so you don't see them but it adds that extra rigidity to the frame so you have that and it's great uh, I believe they're stay they definitely are staying with the wire clip as far as I know I haven't heard any changes on that but thankfully it will still be ambidextrous so you know if you're left-handed you can still use this just like a right-handed person no problem this thing is easy to manipulate very easy and I'm only assuming that it's going to be just as easy when when I get a production knife I will be getting one so but yeah I mean lefties there you go you got your love going on with Vosteed's pickings here uh, great knife I, I definitely recommend it uh, I cannot wait to get the production version all right now we have the raccoon I love this thing too um, this thing is it's just a nice and um, a little bit beefier you know as you can see shorter but beefier so right up my alley and uh, the steel on this is going to be s35 vn by the way uh, this one I believe is going to be 14 c 28 n and uh, they will have a satin finish and a uh, stone washed finish um, I love the button action on this one i love the way they did the uh button lock this one i don't know if this one's coming out in december this year or if they're waiting until next year or what but this thing is so cool i can't wait uh this particular one is a prototype and it doesn't have a pocket clip so i was unable to do a review on that but i figured i could just touch touch base on everything else you know the deployment method is uh thumb studs as you can see you can use the button of course um, it has a nice choil right there that you can choke up with and because there's no uh, there's no pocket clip it doesn't create a hot spot so I won't know what to tell you there but um, as you can see it's also ambidextrous and they put a plate there so that it's nice and even with the scales you know because that's what it would look like without it and I love when they take the time to put a plate over the other side it's not that big you know it's it means worlds of difference I think in my eyes I mean because it, it just makes the entire knife look better when it's just cleaner and well done you know it's uh, everything so yeah but this one is in satin 14 C 28 N I believe and uh, it might be 154 cm actually I well, I'm not sure because they didn't put it on here, but the uh, they didn't put the steel on here. So um, I'm assuming this is not this one is not in the steel that they're doing the production knives with. So, but the micarta is a great, great um, quality. I love it. The also again you have the liners that are hollowed out and nested so they aren't like loud and proud they're just there for rigidity and um, this thing you can beat up I know you could <laughs> the only thing you might have to worry about is getting gunk in the uh, ceramic ball bearings and that's about it that's what I didn't mention on this it's also riding on caged bearings so ceramic of course um, but these are two winners in my book I love them both the raccoon which is this guy right here. I love the way they did their logo on it. I'm not sure how the production logo will look. I love this. And that logo is the old school logo. I love that one. I hope they keep them both um, because I just think they're both awesome. So, and then what's wrong with having two, two logos, <laughs> you know? I think I like them both. I don't know which one I like better, honestly, but they're so cool great knives great logos i love the fact that a lot of the uh used designs are named after animals or you know something like that you have uh because we do have what else is coming out um wow there's like five or eight models coming out in 2023 so be ready because they're gonna be killing it you think they're killing it this year nope they'll be killing it next year this is nothing compared to what they're about to do so i am super excited for them as a company they deserve it 
Uh, they worked hard to get to this point, and I'm really happy for them, and I'm so glad that they're finally going to come out with a bunch of uh, pocket knives. So good. I'm just good on them, you know. So if you were wondering, though, where this screw and what was the meaning of this screw on either side, it is to hold those nested liners in. So, um, and then the body screw does it with this down here. So, and one standoff uh, flow through production um, right there. And then you have flow through mostly here, just a little backspacer. And then they will have a black and green uh, variant of this with a brass uh, backspacer. It's going to be so good looking. <laughs> I love that one. And I, I don't know. I've, I've seen pictures of the green and black one. It's beautiful. So, um, But the uh, raccoon is definitely going to be giving certain people a run for their money. Maybe someone you might know. Um, but I think this thing just resembles the, uh, the original in a way. So it makes me wonder if he designed it. Um, because I don't know. Let me see. It should say the designer on it. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is a Kaiser and Mojave, but I would say, I mean, it's like a miniature version of the, the raccoon almost, you know? Um, I mean, you could definitely see that they worked together. I mean, there's so much of Kaiser in the Vostede, uh, just their look, their overall look. So I just love how they, they put this button in. It's so classy looking and it's also slightly below this little cutout right here. So you have no worries whatsoever if this is going to deploy in your pocket or whatever the case is. But I just wanted to show you, you know, comparatively uh, what we're looking at here, uh, the original a lot of you might be aware of but not all of you so I just figured I'd show you so that's the back side and you can see this blade has so much belly and I love that but I feel like this is a combination between the drop bear and the original that's just what my eyes are telling me you know because it has like the drop bear type of uh, blade but it has the original body, only larger, of course. And uh, I think this is a little bit smaller than the drop bear, though. Um, but yeah, I, I think that people will love their knives, and I don't think they have anything to worry about whatsoever. I love Vosteed knives. I believe in their products so much. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an overview of what I have going on here and um, my feelings on the Raccoon and the Thunderbird. I love them both. I think they're both going to be a successful production model. So I think the quicker they can get cranking these out, the better, you know. So and then it's awesome that they have like a such a, a versatile array of what you can you, you're going to have a. Uh, open to you or available to you it's like you have this beautiful complex uh t you know tanto style uh, compound grind uh you know slot fuller button back flipper front flipper i mean it's checking every single box uh, a fidget knife like whatever check you know what i mean like th these are just the bee's knees and this i think will be so great because not all of us can do reverse flicks not all of us like front flippers so the fact that we have options it's just awesome i love options and and they've really killed it on this one so it's very user friendly and i think you will all love that um, I'm not sure how many of you got your production version yet, um, if you did the pre-order. If you're waiting for them to just come out, um, I think that will be happening in November or early December. So I figured I'd just uh, go over that stuff with you guys. Um, but since we're going on 15 minutes here, I think I'll see you later. No, that's not right. I'll see you soon.